Hello to you and welcome to Adelante Chicago. I'm Lourdes Duarte. Thank you so much for joining us today. Bienvenidos. Let's talk about the Miracle Center. It has been around for close to three decades and has served over 20,000 students produced and presented more than 50 productions and they're not done yet. With the purchase of a new building, they're now offering more services to the community and here to talk more about the new program, some of the upcoming events they've got going on. We've got the founder and the executive director, Mary Santana, and joining her right next to her, Vanessa Torres. She is the associate executive director. Always so nice to see you. Thank, Thank you, you so Laura. much. I feel like I want to give you a big hug. I haven't seen you in a while. Um, so the Miracle Center, uh, you heard me say there, has been around for three decades. You guys have done so much. And now you're kind of coming in with a block party, right? Yes. A summer party. So, Vanessa, I'll start with you. Go ahead and tell me about it. Yes, it's our second annual kickoff to summer festival. Mm -hmm. Um, last year we did it was our first time, well, presented by Walmart, okay. and now this year coming back around, it just got bigger. It just it just expanded. It's a it's a huge festival in Belmont Cragen. Health yeah. focus on health and wellness and bringing a lot of resources to our community. And now we've expanded with more uh, sponsors and presenters and community resource yeah. tables who are going to be able just to fulfill the need that we need in Belmont Cragen. It's so great to see it, Mary. I, I want to bring you into the yeah. conversation and talk about sort of the difference that the Miracle Center has been able to make in the Belmont Cragen neighborhood, which needed a, a, a production or an organization like this. Around. Absolutely. I think it was for us more of expansion of programming, but not only that, us being embedded in a community that, in, that didn't have that many resources in terms of what we're doing with the festival, just providing a lot of different types of resources. Um, but I think for the Miracle Center, this has been such an of expansion of us, our growth. Mm -hmm. So we're pretty excited just to be uh, part of Belmont Cragen, which is really nice. And for the few people, I know there's some out there, very few, that may not know about the Miracle Center and its rich history and what you've been mm -hmm. able to do. Tell them a little bit about it. What would you want them to know? Well, we've been in existence 28 years, May 24th, and what we're doing is we're transforming lives and communities through the transformative power of the creative arts. So now with our 77,000 square foot building, we're actually, like I said, expanding programming. We have, we'll have three theaters. We have 24 multi-purpose rooms. We have a full-size gymnasium. We have two apartments, and we have a commercial kitchen. So there's going to be a lot of great things uh, transpiring out of the Miracle Center right now. And in the how, Belmont Craig how I came to know about the Miracle Center was really because you put together these amazing productions and performances with young kids, teenagers. They're, they're what, 13, 14 years yes. old. And they're coming in and putting in these spectacular productions. You've done In the Heights. What we, I saw Mary, Shrek there. Mary Poppins. We've done There's a Goki in My Shoe. Yeah. We've done so many. And now, as Mary mentioned, it's just expansion of program and of the families as well. So okay. not only just our teens, our young adults, even our seniors in life as well. So it's focusing on the artists, the creative artists, holistically so we also have a gym so okay. during the festival we'll have a basketball tournament as well so they, you, you could get a prize from Luminati Chicago Bulls and Villa Tech as well um, so that's gonna be focused on some yeah that's, and we're looking at some video from last year that's huge guys yeah, it had about 2100 people there last year on a Thursday there's a basketball. And you're expecting the same number or more this year? More, probably yeah. more. We probably have so more. many more people who are being involved this year. And so it was fun. It was just, mm -hmm. it was focused on family and wellness and being able to give. So you yeah. needed, you know, pantry food or, you know, health and wellness checks. There's going to be some health screenings from Humble Park Health and Walmart Health yeah. there. And for us, Lourdes, it was a launch into the Miracle Center to the community saying, here we are, the Miracle Center. Yeah. And, and, at, we're a here to serve. and at a time like this, I think, where um, many of our neighborhoods need that sort of idea of unity and coming together. This kind of stuff mm -hmm. is amazing and makes such a difference. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's yeah. a lot of fun. <laughs> it's so much fun. It's you have the music here. going, yeah. you have like the dance parties mm -hmm. that are happening, the food, the, you know, the small business vendors as well. And it's just a lot of fun. It's just encompassing the entire family and that's what we're yeah. focused on. So is that, will you guys still be doing productions and performances? Like, is there a show that you're working on for the next, I don't know, year, year and a half? Because I don't want you to do away with those. <laughs> no, no. I love those. No, we're not. But actually, we're just holding off possibly for about another year. Since yeah. the building is so large, we're actually um, focusing on infrastructure. Yeah, and so renovations and getting we're coming it. back. Oh yeah, we'll I can't wait. Back. We're I slowly wait. coming back. We're having, we've already had short uh, films filmed in the building. Already okay. four and two had. Two have premiered, 
Um, and so we're just looking at a, different, a little different scope now. As Mary mentioned, we're yeah. growing, and so we have the culinary kitchen, so we're going to be able to make some shows out of there okay. as well. And just, you know, uh, productions in different facets, but don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll okay, be coming back. Okay, I can't wait. <laughs> and just recently you even had, didn't you have Anna there? She did a show yes. at the Miracle Center, yes. yeah. yeah. We had Anna, we did uh, Creating a Table for Women, and we had the influencers Omi and Rebecca and yeah. Eva Lisa and Anna. It was incredible just to have, it was, we had a, almost 200 women. Almost 200 women. Okay. At the center. Wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, so moving ahead to this summer event that you've got coming up, give us the dates, all the info. Do they need tickets? Kind of how does it work? How can, can someone just show up? Yeah, you can just show up. It's mm -hmm. Thursday. Uh, June 1st from 3.30 to 7.30. There's the flyer at the Miracle Center, 5454 West Diversity in Belmont Cragen. Just show up, bring the entire family. Okay, and I know that we've talked before about just the need for obviously resource centers like this in every community, in all of Chicago's 77 neighborhoods, but oftentimes it's so difficult to get the dollars and the funding and the help that you need, whether it's from the state or private donors, how are things moving in that department? Are things looking better? I know during the pandemic it was kind of difficult, yeah. Yeah, it's still, I mean, the needle's still moving slowly, but with these types of events and festivals, it gives that exposure to show the funders we have a community that we need to serve. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so this is the opportunity for you to tap into that. And this is an opportunity for us to go ahead and put ourselves and launch ourselves in mm -hmm. that arena too. So yeah. funding is still moving slowly, um, but we know we have, there are bigger things coming down the pipeline. And so we're still like believing it. for that. Always so. positive. Always yeah. positive. That's what I like about you too. <laughs>